Today, we look at the history of sandy cheeks. The earliest known fossilized squirrels date from the Eocene period. You know, I think we can skip ahead a little bit. Keep going, keep going. Nope, too far. Yes, there. The first known ancestor of Sandy, Dark Knight. Halt! Who goes there? <gasps> Doth mine eyes betray me? Tis the nefarious Dark Knight! Dark Knight lived during medieval times in Bikini Bottom. She's clearly much larger than Sandy in stature and has yet to develop Sandy's self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. It is here we see the first instance of a Cheeks family member practicing the art of karate. We can assume Dark Knight passed down these valuable lessons to Sandy. For I will follow you in your quest to defeat Planktonomore and learn a trifle of that karate. Yeah! Karate! Wah! Many generations and squirrels later, we briefly meet the next recorded ancestor of Sandy Cheeks. Don't blink or you might miss her. There. Did you see her? Let's see that again. This footage was recovered from Dead Eye Gulch and is the only visual evidence we have of Sandy's Western ancestor. Notice how this is the first ancestor wearing a helmet. And the cowboy hat on top is definitely a look. Hold on a minute. Is it possible the hat was passed down all the way to her underwater descendant Sandy? <laughs> oh, shucks. The next family member we know about is Grandpa Cheeks. Grandpa presumably lives a quiet life in Texas, as he is never seen, but Sandy still has fond memories of him. And let's not forget my grandpappy's favorite, the Tour de Saturn, Stargazer. Grandpa meets an unknown grandma who is seemingly just as reclusive as he is. Yada, 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 meet Pa Cheeks. Sandy, this is your pappy speaking, and I forbid you to go after this worm. Y'all come back here, young lady. You ain't my pa. No, that ain't her pa. This is Pa Cheeks. Nope, that's a picture of an acorn. This, uh, nope, that's Sandy's diploma. To the left, no, other left. Stop. This is Pa and Ma Cheeks, and cute little baby Sandy. Although an old photo, it's hard to dismiss the similarities to Sandy. Sorry, gotta go back, we missed someone. Grandpa Cheeks has a sister, Rosie, Sandy's most famous relative. My great aunt Rosie Cheeks was the first squirrel to discover oil at Spindletop, Texas. She's ready to blow! Yeah, seems legit. Okay, where were we? Oh, right, back to Pa. We know he had a sibling because Sandy has at least 100 woodchuck cousins, one of which is named Earl. Ready, Cousin Earl? Let her rip, darling! <laughs> 100 woodchucks chuck. Record broken. Thanks for all your help, cousins. Oh, you <laughs> She also has a Scottish cousin? No way that's true. Aye, tis true. Pa and Ma Cheeks have three kids. There's Randy, Sandy's twin brother. It's a letter from my twin brother, Randy. Oh. Randy says the rodeo's come to town. I've got to head back to Texas and defend my championship title. Championship title? For what? You got cotton in your ears. Mm, no, it's not cotton. It's actually an old moldy piece of Krabby Patty. And Rosie. Not to be confused with Great Aunt Rosie. Mm. Rosie looks like Sandy, but seems as if she's been preparing for winter a little too long. Hi, sis. She lives in a trailer in Texas and has three daughters, Macadamia, Hazelnut, and Pistachio. No, not that. Mm. This in here is Macadamia. Have Hazelnut. Have And little Pistachio. <laughs> All they want to do is wrestle. Wrestle mash! Now you girls go easy on me, okay? <laughs> that brings us to the one and only Sandy Cheeks. Sandy grew up in Texas, but was sent to Bikini Bottom to study the undersea life. Back in Texas, I wrangled bulls and I wrangled worms. Sandy is most commonly seen in her suit for oxygen. <laughs> this old thing is just something I threw on. Which is white and has a yellow patch with an acorn on it. 
The suit comes with a big glass helmet with a pink and yellow flower on it. She also wears gray boots with one red dot on each side of them. Having come from Texas, Sandy speaks with a heavy southern accent and uses typical southern slang. Back in Texas, we call ice cream frozen cow juice. I'll be over there faster than a barefoot jackrabbit on a hot, greasy griddle in the middle of August with yeah, a... Okay, Sandy, thanks. She's very athletic and loves karate, a skill in her family dating back to medieval times. How about we talk about some other bikini bottomites that bear a strange resemblance to Sandy? Like Miss Appear. Now you see her, now you don't. Does this outfit make me look fat? Super Sandy. <laughs> And Mr. Pavlovi. How'd you like a nice free a bowl of tootsie fruity ice cream? All right, here are all known members of the Cheeks family tree. Join us next time as we discover the interesting ancestry in yet another chapter of Nickelodeon's history in what could be our longest episode yet. Of course you remember Zeke, Rufus, Jeet, Billy Bob, Billy Jim, Billy Billy Billy, Billy Banana Fanta Poo Billy, Tug, Enos, Julio, Fletcher McGee, Rainchild, Zeke, All Junior. Right, I get it! I mean, uh, come inside, make yourself at home.